Dreallday.com. Dreallday.com. Today's daily motivation is that decisions create resources. Uh, one of the challenges that we all run into in in our lives, personal lives, business lives, is that sometimes we find ourselves without the tangible resources to do something that we want to do. Uh, there are certain things you want to take care of or engage in, but you don't have the money. Or sometimes you don't have the information, you don't have the knowledge, or you don't know the right people who can help you uh, get something done. You don't have the right, you don't have the right experience maybe to move something forward the way that you want to move it forward. And then what happens, and I talk to a lot of people every day, so this is a, a common thing. So if you think this only applies to you, uh, that's not true. It applies to a whole lot of people because I hear this all the time. People end up basically doing nothing and allowing themselves to stall out and not take any action because they don't have the resource. So I don't have the money. I don't have the knowledge. I don't know the people. I don't have the experience. So they say, all right, well, then I just I, I guess I just have to wait until I have those tangible resources before I can do anything to move forward. This, uh, this introduces uh, several complications into your life and into your situation if this is the decision that you made. And some of you are sitting on this decision right now. Number one, most of the time when human beings decide that they're just going to wait and stall and uh, not do anything because they don't have a resource, usually what happens is nothing happens. They never actually get around to doing anything because the resource is not just going to randomly appear. And even if you do end up getting the resource at some later date, new problems have popped up, new decisions have come up in your life, new circumstances that need to be dealt with have come. And when you do finally get the money or the information or knowledge, now you got these other things you need to deal with. So you never get around to that thing that you meant to deal with back then. That's number one thing that happens. Another thing that happens is the energy or the um, initiative that you had to do something when you said, I don't have the resources, so I can't do it, but you had the desire, you just didn't have the resources to do it, that flame goes out. All right, that, that candle isn't burning anymore. You don't no longer have the fire or desire to actually do the thing. So even if you do end up getting the money and information, you don't use it on that thing because you're not as excited about it anymore. That flame goes out. So any of you who's in sales, you notice that when you have a prospect who is hot and ready to go, you need to close them right there because that heat is not going to stay lit. That flame is not going to stay lit forever. This is very rare a human being can keep that same desire and that same initiative to do something a week later, let alone two years later, when they say they want to do something, but they can't do it right now for whatever reason, whatever their um, justification is for not doing it. So the whole point is for you, you have to put yourself in a decision mode, a decisive mode. Highly successful people are extremely decisive. They make decisions quickly and they change those decisions very slowly. They decide that they're going to do something and they immediately put themselves into a frame of mind of what do I need to do? How can I do this in order to make this work? Even when they don't have the resource to do it in the simple way, they start their mind immediately goes into problem solving mode. How can I make this work? What can I do to uh, bridge the gap between what I have and what I need in order to make things happen. You have to put yourself in this frame of mind about being decisive because when you make decisions and you're decisive about what you're going to do, even when you don't have the, the resources or the means to do it the easy way, what happens is you create the resources. Decision creates resources. The more decisive you are, the more you will find yourself having access to the resources you need to make that decision come to life, to make it become a real thing, whatever that you know, whatever that thing happens to be. But you have to be decisive about it and you have to, you really just have to have a strong belief that your decisiveness alone is going to help you get to the outcome that you wanna to get to. The challenge a lot of people have is that when you don't have the resources, the first thing people do is they basically mentally throw their hands up and say, well, there's nothing I can do. So I guess the situation is just going to have its way with me and I can't change it. I can't alter it. Nothing. I can't have any effect on this uh, circumstance that's facing me. Problem with that mindset is then is that then life just basically gets to have it way, its way with you and life just pushes you around. 
just pushes you around and does whatever it wants to do with you because you have decided to become the victim of circumstance. Instead, you need to make circumstance your victim and you move it around as you wish based on your decisiveness. Decisiveness creates that mindset. That mindset creates a certain energy. That energy magnetizes you to do the things that you need to do that you might not have been thinking about when you were in a different frame of mind that will move you to coming up with solutions and it magnetizes the things that you need to solve your problem towards you because understand every thought has a, a magnetic electric uh, charge to it and when you're thinking in a certain frame of mind it attracts certain things to you think in a different frame of mind it attracts different things to you this is a real thing that's a, a real scientific thing that's not some uh, woo woo uh, stuff that's a real thing that happens in real life with human beings so this is why mindset is so important this is why it's the number one thing to be focused on inside of uh, work on your game university is the mindset you get yourself in the right frame of mind you can pretty much make anything happen and here's the, the last piece i'll leave you with there are people out there and these are the people who you look at and you may look up to they may be your you know people you idolize or virtual mentors or people who you are a fan of they live their entire lives in this mindset that they can make anything happen that they need to make happen even when they start off not having the resources to actually do it because they have the mindset that they can make it happen no matter what they find a way to make it happen all right that is not magic folks and it's not because they are already having a lot of money or knowing a lot of people or they're really smart no those are not the reasons those are the results of the mindset you just have to believe that that mindset is a real thing and then you have to do the work to put yourself in that mindset to where you can stay there and let me tell you how to do that i have a program called work on your game university that's the main thing that we focus on here at work on your game that's where i do all my coaching all my courses all my high level trainings and frameworks are in the university the link is down below is simply work on your game university.com that's where you can work with us directly only place to work with us directly secondly i have a text message line you get a message from me intermittently they'll have you focus sharp and on point to keep you on point in addition to these daily motivation messages you can text me at my number 305-384-6894 make sure you do all the youtube stuff while you're here uh, subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell share the video like the video leave a comment let me know what's the best action step you took based on what you heard here in today's video and work on your game have a great day dre all day